it is me, Jennifer Patton, and I directed Yerma by Federico Garcia Lorca for our UIL One Act Play Contest piece this year. We did not get to compete with our with our play, so um, I thought I would lay out my costumes to show you my concept and how it came to fruition. Um, I do have some pictures of the kids with these on um, at a dress rehearsal, but they're not that great. Um, as you can see, Yerma was dressed in, sorry about my shadow, um, a very barren looking uh, brown, dried up looking skirt with a, you can't really tell, but this is very tea stained. It looks kind of white under the stage lights, but it's it's not. It's a yellowy color. Um, here's the little baby that she never got to have. This is actually the one that was in the dream sequence, and then we also used him for Maria's baby. Um, this is the headpiece um, that was accompanied by a long black dress and shawl for the sister-in-law's Juan sisters who came to watch her and not let her go out and talk to other men, especially Victor. That is the lantern that they used. Um, these lanterns here are the ones, I thought this was really cool. I enjoyed making these. Um, the This was the end of our show. So they were singing or droning and all the lights were out, just the light from this, and it went out one at a time, random places, different levels on the stage, pretty cool. Anyway, um, so as you can see that the washerwomen, uh, most of these are the washerwomen costumes, these, the solid skirts around Yerma, surrounding her with color and beauty. This one is Dolores' costume, Dolores, um, could have gone a few different ways. Um, we chose to make her a younger, like 40-ish, um, 35, 40-year-old 40 gypsy woman um, who used herbs and prayers and spells and whatnot to um, help Yerma become pregnant. Um, I was going to, during spring break, come back and I was not able to come, wasn't allowed to come. I was going to sew um, some different color ruffles around this to kind of, as you can see, it comes up right here and her leg um, shows that so she was a little bit more risque than everyone else. But I was going to put some various colors to show, give it a Spanish flair and a more of a gypsy flavor. Um, didn't get to do that. And she wore lots of jewelry. Right now, I'm not sure where that's at. But um, anyway... And this is the old woman, one of my most favorite characters. It was so fun. And as you can see that her skirt is made of, you know, a hodgepodge of different things. Very, very bohemian, very gypsy. And it kind of, it, it, it combines all of the colors in the, sh the other colors in the show in her. Um, she was very earthy and knowledgeable, really great character. Um... She was the only one that we made really old, but she was very free spirit. So we had long gray hair for her, which was fun. And she had the apple that she offered Yerma, which later Juan takes away because he's such a jerk. But anyway, um, this is Victor's shirt and vest, blue for the color of water and fertility. Victor was her love interest and a very handsome young man at that. Um, Juan's uh, staff and hat. Of course, he. I, ha I have pictures of Juan and um, Victor that I'm going to post, and of the old woman, and of a lot of these characters, especially Yerma, but they're just not very good. So I wanted to show you in this way. Hopefully, you can kind of get an idea. And last but certainly not least, it was the cool part of the show, the final scene. We had the devil and his wife. This is the wife's headpiece, um, his mask and her mask. Um, he had a headpiece, but um, I have a picture of that that I can, I'm going to post in my portfolio. He played this um, bullhorn, it was pretty cool, and this drum, and it was just a neat 
neat thing and they danced with these ribbons sang and it's just kind of a sad day to look at it all but it is what it is maybe we can do it next year and add more to it anyway there's Yerma Lorena High School UIL OAP 2020